Dear listeners, good morning and welcome to Comme d'Archi, season one of Summer, the podcast that opens the doors to the fascinating world of architecture. For newcomers, let me introduce myself. I'm the spokesperson of Anne-Charlotte Despont, PhD in History of Architecture, published author, head of a communication and development agency based in Paris, France, dedicated to architecture. Let's meet every week to discuss culture and architecture with specialists and learn how to look at projects through a context and diversity lens. To offer you the best content, Philippe-Henri, sound engineer, is at the technical helm of the podcast. Thank you for being with me today, and now it's time for talent. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. In this Comme d'Archi number 22, let's continue on the theme of animal tourism. It is no longer about elephants today, but about whales. Did you know that the Dort Mandrup Agency was chosen over the very famous Big and Snoheta agencies to build the major tourist attraction, the whale, in the Arctic Circle in Norway? The building will be constructed in Andenes, a site located at the far north of Adoya, an island 300 kilometers inside the Arctic Circle. The site's proximity to Blechjupa, the underwater valley where migrated whales pass through, makes the area one of the best places in the world to observe the marine mammal in its natural habitat. As a result, it was decided that Andenis, on the edge of this underwater world, would be the ideal place for the new attraction for visitors. Located on the ocean's edge, Docht Mandrup's design is inspired by the striking landscape of the region. The building, discreet, will rise gradually. Visitors and residents alike will be invited to walk on its roof. From there, visitors will have a breathtaking view of the ocean, the mountains, the midnight sun, or even the northern lights. The curved roof will be covered with stones, which will acquire a natural patina over time, emphasizing the link between the landscape and the building. Inside, the building will house exhibition spaces, offices, a cafe, and a shop. Large windows that will open towards the archipelago will create a visual link between the exhibition spaces and their vast natural environment. Dorta Mandrup's design was unanimously approved and best meets the competition criteria, says Bohr Berglund, the complex's managing director and head of the architectural competition jury. It is a poetic and discreet building, but at the same time very exciting and unusual. Not only will we be creating architecture in a remarkable landscape, but we will also be contributing to improving the understanding of whales and the preservation of marine life, says Dorta Mandrup, whose firm won the project with Marianne Levinson Landscab, JAC Studio, Thornton Tomasetti, AT Plan and Architecture, Niels Oyen and Anders Cold. This opportunity comes with a great responsibility which is extremely motivating and inspiring, they add. Although the site already receives 50,000 visitors each year, the authorities hope that the whale will considerably strengthen northern Norway as a travel destination. Knowing that tourism has the effect of considerably damaging the environment, virtuous or not, once again, only the future will tell us. The architectural object on the computer-generated images is in any case superb like a whale's tail emerging from the water. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to tune in to our previous content on Instagram at Comme d'Archi Podcast. If you like it, make sure to promote the podcast by giving it five stars on Apple Podcast and adding a comment or on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself.